Hi, I'm Katie with Galco TV. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the wiring and setup of the KV Electronics KV AC Series Drive. First, connect the motor leads to terminals U, V, and W and ground wire from the motor. Ground should be connected to a common point on the drive chassis. Now connect line power leads or the supply power lines to L1, L2, and L3 terminals with ground wire. If you're using GFCIs, refer to the on-screen instructions for your particular drive series. We'll then want to verify that the line voltage to be used matches the nameplate of the drive and motor to be used. Then we'll set the jumper J1 to the correct voltage. Also note that only the 24D and the 27D drive will have this J1 jumper for selecting 115 volts or 230 volt applications. Our drive today is a 460 volt rated unit. Before energizing the drive, we'll want to verify that the jumpers in the drive match our application. Review these carefully and your drive should function correctly the first time you run it. However, it may require additional tuning for your specific application. This is an analog type of drive instead of a digital, so we have no keypad or there's no programming port to configure it to your application. That means it will have to be tuned by hand using a digital multimeter and a clamp on amp meter with a frequency readout feature. Now, we have verified the line voltage supplied to our drive so we can safely energize the drive safely. Energize the drive and verify both LEDs on the cover are on. This indicates normal operating conditions. Before continuing, make sure the equipment is safe and all personnel are clear of the equipment. Now turn up the speed pot to about 10% and push the start switch. Watch which way the motor or equipment moves. If a reversing switch is installed on the drive, put it in forward position before starting the drive. This series does not require a feedback or tachometer as it runs open loop. If the drive is running in the wrong direction, make sure you power it down and wait at least five minutes. Then swap two of the motor leads at terminals U and W. Now power it back up and hit the start switch again and the motor should now be running in the proper direction. If the motor does not start rotation at 10% speed command or is not running smoothly, we may need to adjust the boost pot to improve breakaway torque. Now we'll verify that the equipment is ready to run safely at full speed by connecting the clamp on meter around one of the motor leads and selecting our desired frequency. Next, turn the max pot down or full counterclockwise before starting the drive. Now start the drive and slowly turn the main speed pot on the front cover all the way to its full clockwise position. If the equipment is still running properly, proceed to increase the max pot clockwise until the motor reaches desired max speed. Next, we will turn the main speed pot back down to full counterclockwise position and set the min pot for the desired minimum speed. Once the minimum speed is set, go back to full clockwise on the main pot to verify that the full speed setting did not change as the min and max settings may have some interaction. We will now adjust the acceleration and deceleration potentiometers Set the main speed pot to the full clockwise position or desired process speed position and time how long it takes to reach full speed once the start switch is pressed. Use this information to adjust the Excel pot for the desired or optimal Excel time. Do the same procedure for the decel time pot once the run control switch is in the stop position. Next, use your clamp meter to verify that the motor amps do not exceed the full load amperage rating on the nameplate. It is very important that you do not set the motor above its full load amperage rating as this can potentially result in premature motor failure. Adjust the current limit pot to limit motor amps to no more than 100% of the nameplate rating. The final two pots that may require adjustment are the jog and the comp pots. 
If your drive includes a jog switch on the front cover, hold it in and set the jog pot according to your application requirements for jog speed. If you find your motor changing speed under variable loads, increasing the comp pot slightly may help stabilize the speed of the motor. Make sure to only adjust this pot as much as necessary because an improper comp setting may lead to stability issues. For more information on the KBAC Drive Series from KB Electronics, along with other products and services, make sure you head over to galco.com.